Hello everybody, so today I am going to the Harry Styles concert. I'm just so so happy to be going, I can't even explain. I've heard that there's people that have been queuing since legit six days ago. I can't be doing that but um, fair play to them, that's some real dedication. I thought I would vlog again today, I also vlogged going to the Nile Flickr sessions in London as well. I know, I'm like, I can't even believe my luck that I got tickets to both, I honestly don't know how it happened. Um, it's crazy but I'm so excited. The song I'm most looking forward to listening to, definitely Kiwi, I know that's like the obvious thing to say now because everyone loves a bit of Kiwi but it genuinely is. Only Angel has been a favourite of mine, like I think that was my favourite song the second I heard it just because I was so, so surprised by it. Yeah, so I'm going to carry on getting ready and then I will be going to see Bloody Harry Styles. Currently half past five, the doors open at seven, so I'm gonna head off now. I'm so excited, I already can't get the songs out of my head, I've been listening to them constantly for the last uh, six hours. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna go and grab some food on the way so I don't pass out from like malnutrition during this concert, because Lord knows a lot of energy is gonna be lost. Yeah. I can't wait, it's going to be amazing, I've heard amazing things already. Yeah, I'm excited to see what suit he's going to bless us with and all of that. Can't even, like, there's no way to express the excitement that is within right now. <laughs> okay, let's go. Insane. There's a lot of people here, uh, but it looks beautiful. The colours keep changing on the outside, it's like rainbow and now it's pink and green and all sorts, so it's so pretty and very hairy and lovely.
lived here for about seven years now. It's very nice to look out into the crowd and see a lot of different flags, a lot of different signs. Are you okay at the top? It's one lady, isn't it? Yes, I'm fine. Yep, there she is. I'm having a wonderful time. So this. I can only pray that you dance with me. sing for you is a song that I wrote for someone else a few years ago. Shame on you. 
chosen to extend my Harry Styles vlog and add on to it now because I definitely never finished it. Basically I'm doing something really exciting today. I managed to get tickets to the flipping MTV EMAs. It's currently half past four and the doors open at half past five so uh, I need to get cracking but I just thought I'd say first because I never actually finished the Harry vlog is the Harry Styles concert was insane. I know he's done it at quite a few shows but he did do Kiwi twice. Blimey. He's just such a unique person and performer and he's really coming into his own and I love it. And now I'm going to the EMAs. What is my life? I've been singing the songs of all the artists that are going to the show today all day long. I've been a fan of Demi for literally nine years and never seen her live. I saw that she was performing at the EMAs and I was just like, oh my God, so happy and ready to see her perform and hear her live. I think she'll be doing Tell Me You Love Me. And if she does, just know that I'll be dying because I love that song. A lot of other people going that I love as well. Camila Cabello. I'm guessing I'm gonna see Havana live. So I'm pretty pumped about that. Shawn Mendes, another artist I've never seen that I really want to see. So I'm gonna be taking that one off as well. Kesha's going, Stormzy's going, M frickin' NM. Oh my god, freaking Liam Payne is going. How did I even forget that? And I was really close to seeing Solo Louis last year as well at the X Factor final, but I picked the wrong day to go, so. Uh, great one. <laughs> it's a very own Louis Tomlinson! Imagination. 
something I'm taking Does it even matter anyway? We're dancing on tables Hey, could it get better than When the lights go on, baby, I miss you. I would usually be getting ready to go out with people, but I'm meeting people there, so like, this is happening. I'm done. <laughs> I am just leaving my flat now to go to the awards. I'm so excited. Also just realised that my coat and hoodie make my outfit dramatically more casual. <laughs> but it's all good. Oh god, I'm losing my voice already before all of this majorly loud singing. <laughs> Let's roll. Do, 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 do. Heading to the arena now. I'm so excited. <laughs> Come at me, Demi. <laughs> Yeah, so boring. Okay, so I just start keeping care, you know? <laughs> God's keeping me all this, still I feel no different regardless. Kids look to me as a lot when it's exhausting. Oh. Really? 
to explain how unreal that really was. So we ended up being sat behind the VIP section, which was insane. Definitely dance with Liam Payne. <laughs> what the hell? I really wanted to finish this vlog, but it's kind of late, so I didn't want to wake up other people, so I'm filming it in my bathroom. When we got there, we realized we were sat literally behind the VIP section. Not even like, quite far behind the VIP section. I'm talking like right behind the VIP section. Freaking Liam Payne of all people ends up standing. I mean, a lot of other people came out as well. Like we saw Sean, we saw Camila, we saw 
Hayley Baldwin, we saw Nick Grimshaw, Rita Ora, a lot of people were in that section. Uh, Stormzy, he was great. So Liam, rather than sitting down, kind of just like stood at the barrier, you know, watching the crowd, which I thought was just so cute. And then we happened to be sat directly like in his line of vision basically. You could see them clear as day. <laughs> so we were all like vibing to the artists that were coming on and performing and then he was vibing and then we said hello, it was like waving, everyone's going crazy. When a performer came on we were like right this is it. Went in there and we were vibing and then we vibed together. Oh my god, look. wait. That was weird. I thought I had red lipstick on my fingers, but no, that's just the colour of my hands. <laughs> Liam Payne danced with us at the EMAs. So yeah, it was so, so good. Camila was amazing. Kesha was great. Demi Lovato. She was insane. Tell Me You Love Me Live has just changed my entire life. <laughs> really apologise for whatever my singing sounded like over that because, uh, not sure how that went. <laughs> a performance of U2 that had been pre-recorded and U2 was sat in front of us watching U2. So we watched U2 with U2 and U2 were singing along to U2. It was weird. Overall, amazing. So lucky with where we were sat and being able to interact with so many of my favourite people. It was insane. Dance with Liam Payne and cross that the heck off that bucket list. <laughs> Boom. And that is about it, so I hope you enjoyed this vlog and maybe I'll see you again soon. Bye!